We can't live by yesterday's light. Yesterday's light is history. Amen. We know nothing about it. You can't get warm today by the sun that shines yesterday. Amen. That's what's the matter with the churches today. That's what's the matter with the people who are trying to live on what happened yesterday. You can't warm by a painted fire. Certainly not. It has no heat in it. Yesterday's sun has no heat in it. The sunlight is sent to the earth and the natural to ripen the grain for the advancing harvest. Each day brings forth a new sun. The sun that's shining today bringing the wheat up in Canada. That same sun, well, if it had, it didn't have no more sun in that this coming July or August, it could never ripen the grain. It's got to be stronger and more powerful. Each day it grows and matures to bring the grain on. Now, if the grain itself... If it begins to mature, the grain comes on. If it stays right with the grain, it only builds the grain. Each day, the husk around it, the, the part, calcium and whatever goes in it, builds right into the grain as the sun gets stronger. But you take the sun that shines in August and put it on the wheat today, it'll kill it. Certainly, you can't do that. It must come in its season. So must God's uh, wheat and grain ripen just in the season, the season it's in. But how could a sun, well, a wheat would die, the fruits would die by the sun that lives today, or shines today, rather. It's corn coming, harvest is ripening. The grain should mature with the light. But the thing is, today the church grain don't want to mature. It wants to stay like it was back in Moody's time. Sankey, Finney, Knox, Calvin, they were all right. They were the light of the hour, but this is another hour. This is another day. This is the advancement of the gospel. It's coming to its maturity.